Ross, another area of aggression that we have to deal with is related to strangers. What's your experiences? It, it's a very common problem that we have to deal with. Um, and again, it's not breed specific. You see this across all various types of breeds and individual temperaments. I recently saw a German Shepherd that was um, being aggressive to people both inside the home and on walks. So I went into the house to see the dog and um, yes, it's fair to say that the dog was quite aggressive to people in that environment and um, also went out with the, with the female owner to see what the dog was like in the street. And at that point, she wasn't muzzling the dog when she was out, but she was trying to avoid people, um, holding onto lampposts and things like that to ensure that she kept control of her dog. So in this case, along with most of the cases that we deal with, there are lots of compounding factors. So this German Shepherd particularly was fearful of people. And when I went back and discussed the chronology of the dog's development, um, the dog was al always fearful of people and then at some point learnt that aggression had a desired result in keeping people a distance away and the owner went on for many months trying to manage the dog and with successful repetition of the dog barking and lunging at people in the street and doing the same to people coming into the home, the dog's confidence increased and then that culminated in the dog starting to nip at people. This client had recently split up with her partner, so she was now on her own managing the dog in the house without his support. So therefore she really needed to do something quickly because A, she was finding it very difficult to manage and B, UK dog laws are increasingly stringent and she was taking huge risks, taking this dog out in public places every single day. So we started by conditioning the dog to a muzzle, so at least we can go about reforming his behaviour in safety so that there was no chance that he could bite somebody coming into the house or bite somebody out in a public place. So once we'd conditioned the dog to the muzzle, again it was a gradual program of desensitisation, taking the dog out, initially starting at a distance just being around people, people not imposing on the dog, which obviously doesn't help with fearful dogs, people not imposing and then starting to utilise rewards so that the dog had positive experiences meeting with different people in different situations and bringing friends into the house, getting those to follow our advice or follow the owner's advice so that instead of her muddling through as she was, managing as best she could with the dog, she had a structured programme to follow that was gradually improving the dog's temperament and reliability around other people and reducing that aggression. It really was about putting the owner in charge, so instead of her flailing in the dark not knowing quite what to do, she very much took charge of how she brought people into the house, what the dog was expected to do at that point, and that's what gave us a good result in resolving this issue. And now, a few months later, the dog is able to meet and greet people in the house and is not problematic at all with people in the street, which is excellent. So I understand with your programme that stopped this antisocial, potentially dangerous behaviour from progressing and instead took the power from the dog and gave it back to the owner, which is the end result that we want from these cases. Thank you, that was interesting.